Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be doing a uh, video on how to compose this picture here. This is going to be the products of four different tutorials. Um, the chair is one, the bottle, the mu the bottles one, the mugs one and the tables one. Let's get started. Open up your table blend file. I actually think I saved over mine. Yeah I did. So I'm just going to delete. Okay. So once you have your uh, once you have your table blend file opened, I'll just show you that it is just the table. Mine is just the table now. The only thing I've changed is made this glass blue. Okay. Now once you have your table file opened you, and you have group, you actually have to group your, you actually have to, uh, blah, you have to group your items in your other four blend files. And the way you do this, I'll just show you quickly. I actually have a video on this, but I'll show you quickly. You can either press space and type in group and then go create new group or you can press Control G, which is the hotkey. And once you've done that for all, and once you've done that for all, um, once you've done that for, but, and once you've done that for all your your bottle, your mug, and your chair that I just did, go back into your table. And now we're going to start uh, linking linking the objects into the table blend file. There's two ways to do it. Well, there's actually three ways to do this. You can go link here or append here. You can use the hotkeys or you can go just press space and go type in link. And then go link slash append from library. This is the one I'm going to be using. Now find your your files for it. I'm going to start by putting in the chair, go group, and here's my chair right here. Press GZ to move it up on the Z axis. Now, the thing about linking and appending, you can't tab into edit mode. Sometimes you can, but at the moment I can't. So, go on the front view, just grab it. You're going to want it to be pretty close to the um, table, like it's behind the table, I'm going to size it down a bit. So if someone was actually seeing a table, I'd have some leg room. I just GY. So it's like under the table. And now all we have to do is press space, link slash a pen from library, and just find your mug, uh, group mug, link slash a pen. Let's see axis. Um, I don't know why it's not linking. I don't know why I did that. Mug. Just open my mug blend file. Go over here, delete its group, and control control G to make a new group. Name this mug two. <laughs> I think because I had it in my file already that it screwed up. So I've got my chair, my mug, and now I need my bottle. Just delete the group. Control G to add in a new group. Name it bottle. File save, file open recent, and go back to your table blend. Now you should already have your chair in. 
like so. Go for space, link slash append. <coughs> uh, go into your mug blend file. Actually, now I'll go in my beer, my beer bottle make blend file. Go group bottle, and there we go. Now, obviously, we're gonna have to size this down a lot. Once we have that done, just go on top view, just grab it, chuck it over there somewhere. Just put it on the table. Now file. Um, no, just go through here. Go mug group mug two. Things like your pen. Now grab this. Size it down. Just grab it, chuck it over there, rotate it on the Z axis slightly. GZ. And file save. And with everything in position, just go file, uh, render image. And when it renders out, it's taking a long time. And if the chair was on the other side, then it would look pretty much exactly the same. And that's just my uh, video on how to kind of compile a different objects from different blend files into the one blend file. Thanks for watching.